Hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to add text into a shape. To do that, we start with a new document as always. Then you have to create the shape that you want to fill with the text later. I'm choosing an ellipse, but you can choose whatever shape you want. After that, you click on the text tool. Here you got two options, the R text and the frame text. For our purpose, we have to use the frame text tool. After selecting that, you press on the shape that you just created. As you can see, the cursor to add the text is now visible in the ellipse. I'm just going to paste some sample text in here for this tutorial. After doing that, you can see that the text is inside my shape, but that there is also some text underneath it. To change that, you want to select the shape. After you have done that, you can see that there is a red eye symbol on the right side of the object. When clicking on that, the text outside your shape will disappear. You can make it appear again by clicking on the same symbol again. You can change the appearance of the text further by going into the text menu. Here you can, for example, change the alignment options. Right now, the text is aligned on the left side, so you can recognize the shape quite good on that side, but it is not as easy to see on the right side. If you choose to align it on the right side instead, it will be the other way around. To make the outline of the shape stand out most clearly, it is best to use the justified alignment method. However, this will cause the text to be aligned to the right and the left side and may result in larger gaps in the middle. One other important thing that you might want to change is the size of the text. This can also easily be done by changing the font size. In general, you can change everything you normally can change about text, be it effects, color, font, and so on. You can also change the size of the shape after you filled it with text. When you use some of the normal handles to do so, the text size will stay the same. However, when using the outer point in the lower right corner instead, the text size is automatically scaled with the shape size and the appearance of the whole design remains exactly the same. Using this technique, you can use whatever object you want, either of shapes from the shape tool or even curves that you draw yourself using the pencil tool to be filled with the text. It is always the same method, creating a shape or curve, going to the frame text tool, and after that, selecting the shape you want. Then you can start typing out the text you want and adjust it until you're happy. I hope you liked this video and I could help you with it. See you soon.